Finding a new trail to explore can sometimes be challenging, and I admit I've done my share of scrolling around on Google Earth looking for dirt roads nearby. Once in a while I find a new trail we can venture off onto, but most of the time the trails are gated and have signs saying private property. This week I found a great website called Dirtopia. It lists hundreds of trails by state and county with directions, pictures, and difficulty ratings for most trails. The main divide road leading up to Santiago Point caught my eye, as it's only a short drive, so off we went. The first three quarters of the mile the trail was concrete, and honestly, I was worried that this wasn't going to be a very good trail. Thankfully, I was wrong, and we soon hit the dirt. The trail had a great variety of packed dirt, rocky sections, and rutted out muddy sections. The scenery was constantly changing. One moment we were in the canyon, the next on a mountain cliff, and then in the canopy of pine trees. The drive never got boring. The trail was narrow for most part, and we did encounter some fellow off-roaders, but we were always able to find a good passing spot. The Holy Jim Trail is located near the peak, and we had to be cautious of blind spots for hikers making their way to and from the trailhead. Santiago Peak was pretty spectacular with 180 degree views of Riverside County.
drive down the mountain along the Indian Truck Trail was just as great as the drive up. Except for a few off-road motorcyclists, we pretty much had the 11 mile drive down all to ourselves. The trail ends behind a new housing neighborhood, and if you didn't know what you were looking for, finding the trail here wouldn't be easy as it isn't marked. This was a great adventure, and if you are looking for an easy trail in the Riverside County area, I can now recommend this one. Please don't forget to comment and tell us what you thought of the trail, and please subscribe, like, and share.